Hi, hello, what's up? Wagwan YouTube, it's your girl Nadia Blings. Welcome to my channel. Today we're getting into this BLY Kinky Straight 13 by 6 frontal unit. I got it in 24 inches, 180% density off of Amazon, and it was under a hundred dollars. That's definitely a steal if you ask me. I feel so cute. I love how everything turned out, especially how beautiful this lace is. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay. Okay. We're already starting off strong with the pink box. My favorite color is pink, so beauty, love, and youth in this customer's eye, you can never go wrong with a pink box, okay? Yeah, as soon as I saw this hairline, I knew straight away I wanted to do no baby hairs. Anyways, before I show you guys the wig, since it's still in its net, let's get into the goodies that came in the box. First up, we have some mink eyelashes. I don't really wear these, but I'm going to keep it just in case we also have this bag that i'm gonna keep for storage that the wig came in and an hd wig cap that i'm also definitely keeping i'm excited to actually use this i don't know when but i'm actually excited to see how this hd wig cap is going to melt okay so let's get into the wig y'all this is advertised as pre-plucked and I would confidently say that it is. I did get a yakky texture because I love thick hair. And I knew that once I flat iron this, it's going to be beautiful. So as for the cap construction, we did get an elastic band so that you could wear it glueless. We also have four combs that come standard in every wig, one in the back, three at the top. We have a lot of parting space with that lace. And then on my hand, it does come off a little bit ashy but this is why i'm also going to show you with this camera because like i always say you're spending your money on the lace the quality of the hair is important but that lace really <laughs> is the most important so i'm going to show you with both cameras so you guys can see what you are paying for with your money of course this video is to assist you in making your own judgment but if i could force you i would make you get this wig <laughs> now we are currently prepping our wig i am going in with some contour powder and i'm going all over that lace and this is where that ashiness of this wig is really gonna play a huge part but before i throw this wig on my head i'm going to adjust the strap what you call that elastic band to the tightest possible i kind of do have a little head a lot of my head space is my locks so i'm sorry we can't relate but oh my god did i just call you big head babe oh my god i'm sorry as i forcefully pull the wig onto my very own big liquor head anyways once i have everything nice and secured in the back the wig is sitting comfortable i'm gonna brush those flyaways back because now we are going to have to customize our hairline and for something that we just slipped on that is definitely not looking bad apart from the ashiness of the lace which i'm going in right now with more of that contour powder to try and correct that and just bear in mind that just because the contour powder is going up against some Something white slash ashy is just not paying off as it normally would or should customizing the hairline is gonna be super easy and beginner friendly but out of habit I went in and I parted out my V part I find that with any wig once I start here customizing the hairline is definitely always the easiest for me so once you find your face shape guys I'm gonna talk about this while I pluck but anyways, once you find what works for your face shape and you start parting out your V's or your baby hairs first, then it's definitely going to change the way you um, are able to maneuver customizing your hairline. Anyways, I realized that I am doing no baby hairs. Why am I parting out a V part? So I pushed everything back and now I am just going in and just aimlessly pluck in at this hairline now the reason why i said that this is going to be super easy for a beginner is you already have a beautiful hairline that they already gave you with this wig so just going in with your tweezer and just tweezing and just getting rid of that harsh line is definitely going to change the game for me 
for you too but look at how look at the difference with the two sides i know i'm not turned that way but anyways i'm going to go ahead and do the other side off camera i know it looks like i'm plucking super hard but it's because the video is sped up so take your time and pluck your wig to the best of your ability and just make sure you're happy with the end results before you move to the next step which is technically even more customization of the wig you want your wig sit on pain your head like a year and it make pun you want everybody to know that this wig is yours so if you don't feel comfortable slitting your lace i had to slit mine because i am wearing makeup and i don't want it sitting on my face like that but if you don't want to slit your lace, you could just go ahead and flat iron the hair back to see what you're working with and get the hair out of the way. Now, I am going to put a clip by the side of the ear that I'm going to be working with because I want to be very precise with this cut. Now, as you can see, the first thing I did was cut off that extra lace just because I don't want it to be a distraction and I don't want to be cutting even more than I want to cut. I've told you this a hundred times. Please make sure that you are parting out your hair, ear space and it is fitting perfectly before you go in and just aimlessly cut. As you guys can see, I am seeing exactly where I'm cutting to the best of my ability. <laughs> you know, there's a little bit of hair there, but I'm seeing where I'm cutting and look how that is going to sit on my head. Now with that ear tab and this ear line, it's gonna look like it's coming out of my scalp, okay? So I'm going to now put my hair in a ponytail just because these ear there's the ear clips they're not they're not holding me down so i am going to go ahead and clean up my edges with alcohol and a cotton pad before i go in with my got to be goose spray and spray underneath i'm doing the under method just because of the look that i'm going for if you spray it on top sometimes it gives off that crunchy look that you don't want especially with this look that we are going for natural coming out of the scalp kind of look now i am doing the middle section first because this is going to set the wig like a ice in a freezer and like why not who does the sides first that's just odd to do the sides first now after we have dried everything down of course i am going to speed through doing the sides because i am pretty much doing the same thing i'm spraying the got to be glue spray on my skin and if you want to do more than one layer you could do that i only did one layer because i wasn't going to wear it out as yet and plus i wanted to try wearing this wig glueless so one layer layer is enough to set your wig for a glueless setup oh and bear in mind that i am going back and forth with hot and cool heat so no that's not just hot heat right on the side of my head <laughs> but anyways once you can touch it and you realize that everything is dry you can now go ahead and cut your lace now i could not for the life of me find my little tiny scissors so now i am using my big scissors to just do the best at least the best for the camera but i did end up having to go in with even smaller scissors and make sure that i got off even more extra lace once i got to a closer mirror and found my smaller scissors so do keep that in mind even though i am very much in love with the results in this video now once i am done cutting off my lace i'm gonna go ahead and just do everything in my power that is going to melt this lace to the best of my ability i am going back in with some contour powder that wasn't working i think i went in with some spritz after this or it was got to be glue spray i don't remember but y'all are gonna see i'm gonna pop off here so we could vibe out to some music and once i'm done with the lace i'll pop back on and finish up you got it in a question oh it ain't no one for guessing no more than emotionally invested Showing you all my imperfections Oh, if I let you, don't take me for granted Yeah, if I were to, then you could manage Manage, yeah, oh 
open with me, oh, we could be honest Close to me, oh, giving me silence Know this, that you won't let me fall Holding me tight, loving me right, giving me life All night you could be Telling me lies, making me cry Missing my time, the whole time, so just be Careful what you take for granted, yeah Cause with me, no, you could do damage You, you could do damage, you I do want to keep that yakky texture and wear it like this first so I am going to use my heat brush and brush through the wig so we could get rid of those creases that came about maybe in the package or something and make sure that it is nice and straight that was so easy to do can you imagine all you need to do to start your wig is brush through it with a hot brush I am here for it actually the hardest part of this wig was figuring out the lace and I am like I said happy with the result now I am going going to just do my final touches like straightening out my part and making sure that it is nice and neat or sleek because we're going to use our edge tamer this is the one that i'm using but anyone will do this is just going to make the top of my head nice and flat once i go in with my hot comb mind you i am not putting a lot and a little is gonna go a long way and it's even better to put a little bit and then go in and add more if you need more than to put too much and not need as much so once i go in with my hot comb that's definitely going to press my kinky out so i'm not going down too far on the shaft of the hair the comb was so hot look at the steam that's coming off of that you guys with the product on there and me touching it i burnt myself so many times in this session not only on my hands but actually on my forehead and i guess that that elastic band was protecting my face in some way shape or form but anyways you guys like I said I'm not going too far down on the hair because I wanted to keep that kinky look and that was that when I was finished flat ironing the top now I am doing my little concealer defining my part trick I stick my tail comb down in my concealer bottle that I do not use for makeup anymore so no we're not mixing products over here and I am just going to go ahead and use the tail to define that part it works every time and it comes out perfect you put enough concealer on there and you just roll it around and you can never make a mistake with this so yeah you guys once i am done with that i am going to go ahead and take off my elastic band and look how beautiful this edge is going to be i am so in love with how it came out and i am so glad i did not do any baby hairs i feel like it matched my hairline perfectly it wasn't too much work and i only have one last step that i wanted to do just because i feel like when i turn on certain angles i could see my lace so i wanted to do one last thing to try to hide that a little bit better and i felt like it worked even more but i went in with my pump it up that's always the t okay i did cut off a, that little extra piece of lace i did cut off that once i got closer to a mirror like i had mentioned before and this was the end results i am super in love with this wig i definitely think you should get it 
don't forget to check out the description box down below i will sh be sure to link it and try to get it before it goes up from 100 the last time i checked it was still at 100 dollars. so definitely go check it out i love how this came out yeah you guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will be sure to see you guys in the next video bye